Hello everyone, Chris Dubiji here. Welcome to another part of Crash Nitro Kart. Today we're going to CNK Challenge in a great level, Tiny Temple. Now, if only we could have played as Tiny, uh, I did choose Team Bandicoot, I didn't choose Team Cortex, unfortunately. Um, which, I, what do they consist of, I think? Yeah, alright, whatever. Anyway, let's do this. This should be fun. This should be actually fun. Judging by the last two escapades that we went on in the other levels, I would say this is going to be difficult, just like the others. This, this is a stressful, stressful endeavor. Um, I, I guess in another word, way, I can call this level Tiny, Tiny Temple 2. You know what I mean? Because it really is the, the replica of Tiny Temple from Crash. Uh, I wonder what I wonder what the Terror version of Tiny would be like, because we know that that guy's Papu Papu, uh, Terror or whatever, and yeah. Oh shit. Terrible. Coming I mean, eighth, damn it. Actually, I don't even think anything could be more harder than the first two, because seriously, there's just parts of that which make me want to fucking go mental. That's how hard they are. Right. So we've got C, we need to get N and K, and I'm pretty sure N is up on one of the or K, I can't I think K is like wait, where is it over here? I can't remember. I've kind of forgotten this level for a second, I'm pretty sure. We're missing... Oh, don't hit me, please. Yes, thank you. I'm pretty sure... N... Oh, there it is. There's N. Let's get that. I guess if you get all of the letters in the first lap, it kind of makes it more easy to, to chase them in the end. Um, I'm pretty sure K is... over there, which we great gratefully missed. Or not gratefully, but we missed it. Shit. Alright. And... Um, have a look to your side there, on the on the corner there, the, the, the people who are racing or whatever, like the animations, I think they're up to standard with the original CTR uh, icons, don't you, would you agree? I, I think I think it would be uh, fair to say that they are just as good, but yes, I love getting uh, this. Seriously, like, the one thing they just improved on so much, like, bloody hell, Aku Aku just looks amazing. Like, he just looks so damn good in this game. It is a really, really great effort by the boys. All the women, you know, I'm sure women worked on video games as well. I'm sure there was some fantab fantastic staff, you know. They don't have to be men. They don't just have to be men, I will say that. Don't don't assume that the, the video game business is a solely male-dominated industry. I mean, well, I guess, yes, it is dominated by men. But, I mean, I'm sure that there are many women that want to break into the industry as well. Um, and there's my two cents on the fucking industry, yeah. Uh, implying that I know everything about it, which I, I, I don't. And there's the whole hog guy or whatever his name is. That's that's not what it reminds me of, that's what it is. Straight up. All right. Okay, let's get that. And I think we've chill, that was lucky. I think we're just gonna get this victory. They're actually dangerously close. Take a look at the map. They are really close, but some corners like these, they cannot beat me. Like that, there we go, look at that. Awesome and should drop it one in the middle. But in CTR, when you collect the CTR coins or tokens or whatever, or CTR, C, yeah, CTR like, you know, icons or whatever, or um, letters, do they pop up like as 3D objects or are they like the CNK ones where it just highlight, like it just shows the text? I can't remember. Um, I, I forgot, like there it is, they show up there, but do they show up in game, like, like in the actual level when you're racing? I, I can't remember. But, um, Anyway, let's head off and do the Relic now. Okay, the Relic race. This, another difficult uh, challenge. Here we go. Tiny Temple 2. Alright, let's do this. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Look at this. Awesome. Okay, let's get that one. 3. I've got a feeling this will be easier than the first two. It's a lot more, I don't know, just to me it feels like it's a lot more accessible. Uh, a lot kind of easier to, oh, well, as I say that, I fucking miss... You know, a few there, great. And I missed that one as well, so that's a complete waste of time. So you see, this is frustrating. It's so frustrating, these bloody challenges, I tell you. How do people get Platinums? They're gonna be like, absolute freaks to get Platinums. And I know someone I'm referencing here, like Eurus Pajedov, who could probably do it really easily, but... Well done to him, but yeah, there's just some practice that I just could not be bothered, uh, or a skill level that I cannot be po bothered trying to get to, to be honest. Like, I kind of enjoy the leisure, the kind of the, the laid-back nature of uh, this sort of game, you know. I mean, it's, yeah, it's high octane, you know, it's, uh, but it's no Hydro Thunder, you know, I mean, in terms of, like, Hydro Thunder, you go super fast, but 
Um, at the same time, it's a different kind of racing game. You know, Hydra Thunder is meant to be super, super speed. This game's meant to be this. I mean, you know, I was looking at this video online. Um, it was called like Crash Bandicoot in in uh, CN. I mean, Crash Bandicoot in what was it? What game was it again? Crash Bandicoot in Mario Kart 64, and it was scary how slow Mario Kart 64 is compared to CNK. I mean, or LCTR, sorry for that matter. Doesn't matter, CNK or CTR. It's just, it's such a slow game. Like, on 150cc, it's still kind of fast, but no, I would actually say no, it isn't that fast. Even on, even on that setting, it's still really slow, and kind of, like, disappoints me that everyone kind of all, you know, every time, everyone always goes to Mario. It's like, oh, look at Mario. He's the, you know, if you want to play a good, you know, kart racing game, play Mario, he's so awesome, you know, but you know what, it's taken them like 10 or like 8 games to get to the level they got to with Mario Kart Wii, which is a, you know, a great racing game, but you know, like, Crash Team Racing got it right instantly, you know, this is the first game, Crash Team Racing, that was it, you know what I mean, they got, they got racing down pat, this game, um, you know, would you say it improved it, maybe not, it, you know, it kept it relatively the same, um, but still, they managed to make a really, really solid game in CT CTR, and they continued the trend with this game with Vicarious Visions. So I feel like, you know, if you want to recommend people, hey, what's a great kart racing game, please don't say Mario, because if you're saying Mario, it implies that you have no knowledge of the kart racing genre at all, because there are some great kart racing games out there, or just, you know, children's racing games, I suppose, that are really good that aren't Mario. But I guess that's just, I guess that's what you got to deal with with the mainstream, you know. Um, wow, we're just barely seriously. You barely scraped by to get the um, sapphires. Wow. Now please, yes, there's a three there. Good. I just wanted to make sure I had a feeling there was, but oh shit, two o two two o three. Wow. Relic of water. Jeez, that is close. It's amazing how close they get with these. I mean, I'm not not. I mean, I guess you could say it's blind, because I've, I've actually got a feeling I didn't do these as a kid. I'm pretty sure I was just like, ah, well, nah, nah. And in fact, I think I rented the game, then I bought it a couple of years later, and I just never did it. Like, actually, I never actually beat this game at all, I'm pretty sure. I think I got up to, like, the fourth world, couldn't beat Velo, or Velo, however, <laughs> however you pronounce it, but... Here we are. Super job. Thank you, friend. Now, I'm pretty sure... That leaves us with this, this world. Is Sparky, your robotic assistant. Sparky can save your progress, switch your driver, and display information that will help you along in the galaxy circuit. That's pretty cool. All right, okay. Now let's go here. Wait, and that's Velo City. To oh shit, we went in anyway. This is a nice uh, looking image, and it implies that there's a race in this area, like in the. Um, it plays there's a race in this area, but I think all the images are like racing, even even in like the home worlds. But it'd be cool if you could race around that, like a, a circle based track. So this is the hub. I guess this is kind of like Gemstone Valley, you know, Gemstone Valley, and uh, it's kind of like it leads it leads you to each world. Um, all right, let's go over here. That's four for that one. I think this is when we unlock. Now we unlock this one, Baron. Awesome, okay. Let's go to Baron. Baron Praxis, maybe, from Jack 2 fame. Alright, here we go. That This image used to be on, like, a Tarzo that you could buy, which is, like, these kind of, like, little collectible things you could get in packets of chips, actually. I remember I was, like, so excited to collect all of them when I was a kid. Like, they actually full-on promoted this game in Australia. Like, it was pretty awesome. So here we are in the next world. Listen to that. Nice. Here we are. First level we're going to go to is the level that I showed off in the demo of testing out this game a couple weeks back. Let's go into the next level. Thank you very much for watching this part. Um, I've been, it's, been, it's been a great time. Uh, and next part, Meteor Gorge. Thank you for watching.